99% of traders don't even understand the daily cycle and this indicator is exactly what you need to solve that. I'll help you set it up quickly and make it pass from this to this. So a very low key indicator you can add on your charts. This indicator is really important especially if you've been following the strategies I shared in the last few weeks. It will help you keep track of the daily cycle and the different trading sessions. Let's start. So to install the indicator you just click right there and just search for ICT kill zones. And it should be the first one, ICT kill zones plus pivots. So you'll see at the beginning when you install it it's very messy so let's just clean it a little bit. We'll go step by step. First of all you need to make sure that you're on New York time in trading view so you can just click here and you have it on New York. This is the first thing and at the time of this recording it was after daylight saving. So as it's written here, you need to adjust this every time we change hours. So that's a one downside for this indicator. But other than that, this is a very complete indicator. So right there, you can just set it at GMT minus five. And once again, this is because we're after daylight savings at the time of this recording. Then you can just click on sell and then we'll first remove all the labels. I personally don't like to have text on my charts. So I'll just remove all of them but you can of course leave them if you like them. Then we'll just review the time of each of the kill zones. So for the Asia kill zone, this should be set. London also, this should be set. And then depending if you're trading Forex or if you're trading indices, you might need to do some changes here. So first let's start with Forex. If you're trading Forex, you can just set your New York kill zone from 7 a.m. to 12 p.m. I would just put one, to just encapsulate the 12 p.m. also. And if you're trading indices, you would have your New York AM from 8.30 to around 12 p.m. For the kill zone pivots, I would just remove everything, so nothing on the charts. The day of the week labels, you can just remove that as well. Opening price, same thing. And then this is something important right there on the timestamps. So I would just remove this one and use the first one. It's just to separate each day, right? And personally, I like to have a straight line for this one. Perfect. As for the colors, inside kill zone, you can just start with removing once again the text. And then just to have it a little bit more subtle on my charts, I would just put the first light color in each of those categories, just like so. And because I'm a little bit OCD, I'm seeing here this gap between Asian session and New York, so I'll just come up here and then write one. And very quickly, how you can keep track of the daily cycle using this indicator. Let's start with the Asian session. So you know, you have the Asian range, right? London takes out one side of it and we have mainly a move down, right? So the main move of the London session was bearish. Then you have some consolidation with, between the two sessions. And what does New York do usually in the perfect daily cycle? We continue what London did. And you can see here this move down. Once again, in here, you have the Asian range. We take one side. And then the main move of London was a move up. We have some consolidation between the two sessions. And what do we see during New York? Another move up. And you can see here, for example, that because we left this Asian range high untouched, it was eventually went and ran out for its liquidity. And look here, once again, we left this Asian range low untouched and we eventually came back to it during the New York session. So if you're looking for a step-by-step -step strategy that uses those concepts, you can apply to the mentorship in the description. Or you can just start by watching this playlist of the best ICT strategies I could find on YouTube.